Okay, so I'm at the mushroom area of Timna Park. So it's me and my sister I'm here. I'm walking along the red earth. There are three archaeological sites here. There is a foundry, a workshop, and a local shrine that I do not think is Egyptian. I think it uh, predates the Egyptians. There were a lot of different people through here. Midnights, Nabataeans, Egyptians. Okay, so here we go. Me and my sister I'm walking through the mushroom zone. Okay, this is the workshop. They have flat stone surfaces on which ore was crushed, lined pits for the storage of the ore, but they don't say what the pits were lined with. They found midnight pottery here, Egyptian scarabs, and different copper objects, copper hooks, copper rings, mining tools, arrows. It's getting hotter. Oof. So this is the foundry area. Presumably where they smelted the copper. This is the local shrine, not necessarily Egyptian. There's an offering bowl and some stone altars. Even though it's not a Hathor chapel, I figured I'd give it a little bit of a blessing with the sistrum. I'm starting to feel like I can really yield some energy with this thing. It's kind of like a wand. This is where we start getting into the slag zone. Up ahead, we have a zone that's mixed slag and all these beautiful um, quartz stones, little round quartz stones, like pearls of quartz everywhere. Look at this. Look at all this great quartz. So pretty. And there's pink ones. And very, very white ones. More 
yellowish tawny ones. Mixed pink tawny. And then we've got all this great slag. Makes these great sounds. I love that there's this combination of naturally occurring, like beautiful round quartz stones, like little teardrops everywhere. And they're mixed together with these remnants of human processes, these slag bits. And being from Pittsburgh, I know all about slag. For you Californians, that's Pittsburgh with an H, Pittsburgh PA. But lots of slag there left over from steel making. Here it was copper. Around 10th century, 12th century BCE. Okay, I'm going to begin the walk back now. Actually, I think the Egyptians were here earlier than that, because what was Hatshepsut? She was around 13... 50. I don't think ancient people would have walked as fast as I do. I have a very uh, 21st century hyper-capitalism California, Northern California walk. Must hurry always or risk economic consumption by everything around you. I also have a meeting with the park manager. It's part of why I'm in a little bit of a rush. She's gonna pull me some books from the archives. Normal people are not allowed in there. So this is a good honor and opportunity.
Okay, this brings us to the end of our walk along the mushroom area of Timna Park. <laughs>